46, my point of order is order 43. And it says, personal explanation, by the indulgence of the Senate and the leave of the President of the Senate, a senator may make a personal explanation, although there be no question before the Senate, but no controversial matter may be brought forward, no may debate arise upon explanation. The times of the proposed statement shall be submitted in detail to the Senate President when the leave to make it is sought. Mr. President, I just spoke with you when I came in. Distinguished colleagues, you observe that I did not, I was not present at the... Mr. Distinguished Senators, by our Standing Order 39, the arrangement of business, personal explanation will not work as soon as the order of the day starts. But I also have under 25, our Standing Order 25H, that job and task of interpreting the rules. So I will uh, allow Senator Alain Dume to present his personal explanation based on the powers conferred on me to interpret the rules in standing order 25H. You can go ahead. Anyway, I hope we'll uh, I hope we'll, uh, Mr. President, will I, I, I take note and strictly adhere to the rules because just yesterday distinguished Senator Goje raised a point of order without even explanation and he was allowed to, to make his explanation and uh, by the way by the way I was here what happened to the chair? Senator Alain Dume address the chair don't mind the side talks you are protected Thank you, Mr. President. And uh, it was necessary for me to make this personal explanation. As I said, I did not attend the morning sitting, and the simple reason was uh, the parents of a man that wants my daughter's son in marriage were to bring the dowry. And it is not in my tradition, for example, to uh, announce or uh, tell my colleagues when dowry is brought. I didn't know that it would translate into marriage. So when when they came and they asked, for, no, the the money is just yes, our daughter. No, the money is too small. That's why you pay me the balance. Yes. Uh, let me explain. I'm under. Uh, please, Mr. Chair, protect me. I'm explaining something. Chairman, please protect me. I'm trying to explain to them. Senator Alun Dume, I will protect you, but I want you to address the chair. Don't mind the side talks. Just concentrate. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, the essence of the personal explanation is ordinarily I will at least write to the Senate to inform our colleagues here in chamber, including the staff, about the wedding of my daughter, which is the tradition in the Senate here. Because I told you, circumstances made it that uh, we, we, are, we have to conduct the wedding according to Islamic tradition in my house and we did that and I felt that uh, coming here because it has gone already viral and many of you here who are father to my daughter will feel offended that's why I explained and lastly according to uh, Philip Aduda my tradition is that and in Islam 
the least dowry that is to be paid according to Islam is rubu dinar. Uh, uh, rubu dinar. That is that translates to about as of today eighteen thousand. But I was given uh, I was given uh, the dowry of my daughter is hundred thousand, and uh, the Igbo guys here know that how much they give out there. So I need the balance. I, I need the balance. Order, order, order. So I want to apologize. I want to apologize for not informing you. It was circumstantial. I would have uh, announced it. So I want you to help me pray for the, ma the, the marriage of my daughters. Thank you very much. Senator Alain Dume, on behalf of the distinguished senators, my colleagues here, we want to congratulate you on the wedding of our daughter. Congratulations. And we wish them, we wish the family a very happy and fruitful family life and married life. Um, Sergeant Atams, next nominee, please.